prolific producer of many types of gemstones and large amounts of gemstones. I have been visiting this country for a couple of decades and documenting productions of emerald, topaz, tourmaline, amethyst, alexandrites, and many other types of gemstones. In this video, Dr. Tao, let's take everyone to the Crucero Tourmaline Mine. This is the lar one of the largest tourmaline mines in the world. The massive production of eight tons of tourmaline each year is very impressive. And all these tourmalines are found in pegmatites. And if you go to the mine, you will see how big and wide these pegmatite veins are. And some of them can reach the width of 30 meters. Brazil is a country with strict environmental regulations for mining. And Tao, it's always a pleasure to visit a mining area where the people take such great pride in the natural beauty around them. It's very fascinating for me to see all their rubellite variety tourmaline goes to the China market to feel the appetite of our consumers. At the Cruciero tourmaline mine, we followed one of the mine owners, Beatrice, down the mining shaft and the tunnels to reach the mining areas. Although we found that keeping up with her proved to be quite difficult. While blasting was used to tunnel into the pegmatite, the actual mining and extraction of tourmaline was done by hand using a pick, as Antonio has demonstrated. The mine was extensive with several tunnels at different levels. As you walked through the tunnels, black tourmaline crystals were visible in the walls. The crystals may be red and green colors inside the tunnel wall, terminating in the black color. While we were there, a miner worked on removing a large quartz crystal with intergrown tourmaline crystals using a pick. Another miner sprayed water on the crystal, removing dirt and making it more visible as it was breaking away from the wall. The miner carefully removed the crystal from the mine wall, being very careful not to drop it, and then showed us the green tourmaline crystals embedded in the quartz. The washing process was very simple, but also very effective. Just using two screens, a couple of barrels of water, and some human muscle, all of the washing of the ore was accomplished. With just the two screens loaded and being washed, we saw numerous tourmaline crystals, including some very large ones that were further washed and also tourmaline crystals that were being stacked alongside of the water barrel. It was amazing to see so much gemstone crystals coming out of just these two baskets being washed. One of the mine owners, Douglas, then gathered these crystals up in his hands for further inspection and showed them to us. Quite an exhilarating sight to see from just a couple of minutes of a couple of baskets being washed. The size of some of these tourmaline crystals was very impressive to us, although Douglas said they were small compared to others. This beautiful crystal shows how often they terminate in a black color with green, colorless, and rubellite colors also present. You can see how Beatrice is pleased with this stone from her smile in the background. <laughs> 